Welcome back to Tain Slade Info. Good news for India is that the Electronics and Radar Development Establishment, which is a lab of DRDO, has successfully concluded the Uttam Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar program since the radar has achieved all major objectives and development trials. This is indeed a major milestone achievement by the DRDO since these radars are a very vital component for future aircrafts which are going to be manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is said that the first batch of 20 Tejas Mark 1A fighters will be fitted with ELTAS ELM-2052 AESA radars of Israel and later batches will be fitted with Uttam Mark 1 AESA fire control radar that has 780 TR modules. Uttam is a solid state gallium arsenide based active electronically scanned array radar which is a low probability of intercept radar under development by the electronics and radar development establishment. These radars have already completed 250 hours of performance testing on two Tejas fighters as well as on the Hawker 800 executive jet. The National Flight Testing Center had evaluated the radar and cleared it after performance testing. According to DRDO, the Uttam AESA radar is 95% indigenous with only one imported subsystem that has a range of 100 km and it can track 50 targets in the sky and engage four of them simultaneously. The completion of these development trials paves way for production and it is said that four derivatives of this indigenous radar are being planned. For the Tejas Mark II fighters, DRDO is working on an upscale version of Uttam radar that will have 992 arrays of TR modules. These Mark II variants of Uttam radar will allow the aircraft to boost the low probability of intercept and non-cooperative target recognition while managing a better multiple target detection and tracking capability. Coming to 5th generation AMCA program and the twin engine deck based fighter, it is said that LRD will be moving away from the present solid state gallium arsenide technology to the latest gallium nitride based technology. And this comes with superior heat dispersion for better cooling of the radar which will eventually increase the performance. Another advantage of using the gallium nitride based radar is that it will be able to search for targets at a 50% greater range and searches 5 times the volume as a similarly sized gallium arsenide technology. So that was a quick and a small video to provide information about the recent happenings with the indigenous Uttam AESA radar and the upcoming variants of the same and the plan to integrate on various future fighters of India. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.